all right guys welcome back to the seventh Django tutorial video and in the last video we actually created this navigation bar which looks pretty cute and pretty simple and beautiful we had a little bit of a problem with this Instagram icon and uh, what I found out was pretty stupid so what happens with Django sometimes is that uh, the run server automatically doesn't get refreshed and that causes a lot of problems in your uh, website so when I just restarted the run server, I just stopped the server that is uh, that is just running right now. And then when I executed the run server again, it actually just fixed everything else. So if you are doing Django, the thing with Django, which I always forget is that run server sometimes works and sometimes you have to restart the server. So it causes a lot of uh, wastage of time if you don't remember to restart the server, if you're having any problems. So if you want, you can just like, you know, write on paper, restart the server again if you have any problems in Django. So if you think you have done everything right in Django and you're still getting an error, it's probably because we haven't restarted the server. So yeah, just a tip for you guys. It will save you guys a lot of time and a lot of headache. When I was just starting out with Django, it wasted so much of my time. Now I'm able to figure out very, very pretty quickly that, hey, it's not my problem. It's the problem of the Django server. But anyways, let's get started with the content of uh, today's video. So in today we are going to be executing, uh, executing and maybe attaching. So right now, if you click on portfolio or maybe you click on contact, nothing is going to happen. So let's actually connect these uh, links on top. Uh, that is the first thing we are going to do. So for that, let's go to our index.html file. And if we scroll down to these links, uh, the home, the portfolio and the contact, you can see there is this href tag, which uh, right now just has this pound symbol. So we need to add a URL over here. Now in normal web development, you probably write something like, um, I don't know, something like uh, contact or something like that. All right, but this is not how it works in Django. What you have to do is we have to go to urls.py and this is the urls.py of the my site app. And we are going to add uh, a couple of more parts so that we are able to identify the contact page and the portfolio page. So we're going to add two more parts over here. Make sure they are properly formatted. And over here, we're just going to write contact. You can also write uh, this backslash contact. It doesn't really matter because Django automatically identifies this as contact. So it's going to be fine. And over here, we're just going to write portfolio. And then we're going to give names to all of these three uh, links. You can say links or you can say pages. And I'm going to tell you what these uh, names are going to be, what, what kind of benefit these names are going to give us. You can just write name equals to and then portfolio. And the second one, we can name it as, you can name it anything you want, but make sure it's relevant and you don't just mess with it. Uh, name equals to home because this is our home page. And now what we can do in index.html is we can use our uh, this tag over here and we can write URL and we want it to go to home when we click on this home button. So we can just write home over here because we have put in the name of home over here. So whenever we click on this index.html, what is going to do is it's going to go to this URL of home It's going to go to urls.py and it will say, okay, the name of uh, this home is over here. And where is this link? This link is at nothing. So I'll make sure it goes to nothing and then it's going to execute this views.index. The similar thing is going to happen with contact. So let's actually add it over here. Go to person design URL. And then over here, we're going to write uh, portfolio. So now when, when we click on this portfolio link, it's going to go to this URL portfolio. It's going to look through the urls.py and it's going to see search for this name equals to portfolio. When it finds this name equals to portfolio, it's going to go to this path. That is our website.com backslash portfolio and then it's going to go to this views.index obviously we're going to be changing this to maybe views.portfolio or something like that and over here we can just write views.contact just to change it and let's change the last one and over here we can just write uh, url and we can just write uh, contact because that is what it is and let's actually just test it out whether it's working or not. So for uh, just testing out purposes, I'm just going to comment this out pretty quickly and I'm going to change this to index. All right. Everything looks pretty good. Let's see if we need to restart the server or not because it gets pretty messy. So I'm going to press enter and it says reverse for portfolio not found. Okay. So it's giving me an error because I commented this one out. 
So let's uh, actually decomment it, I guess. It's fine. And we can just name it as index of two. It's totally cool. So it was giving me an error, error because in this index.html, I have uh, told this link to go to portfolio, but there is no portfolio URL matcher or URL pattern over here. That's why it was giving us an error. But that's cool. We have fixed it. Let's press enter and let's wait for it. Now, if we click on contact, it should change, take us to this backslash contact and it opens up the views.index. So it goes to this views.py file and it opens up this index function. So for different uh, different links, we are going to have different functions. So that's why we are going to call this one contact and this one we're just going to change it to portfolio. Nothing too complex, pretty easy stuff. And then views inside views.py, we can just copy this and paste this maybe two more times over here, over here, and change this to portfolio, and change this one to contact. And what should happen when this portfolio function is called, I, instead of index.html, I wanted to open portfolio.html, portfolio.html, and instead of uh, this index over here, I wanted to open contact.html. Now obviously we haven't created uh, these files yet, so what we are going to do is we are going to do the, the templates, my site folder, and I'm going to just uh, create new and then create a new HTML file, call this one portfolio.html and then create another file, call it contact.html, pretty simple stuff, nothing too complex. And that's pretty much it. Let's actually test this out because uh, we haven't tested it out. So over here we can just write uh, contact page. And in our portfolio, we can just write portfolio page. All right, so this should work pretty, pretty well. All right, so let's go to our uh, main website, press enter. And if you go to portfolio, it's gonna show us the portfolio page. And if you go to contact, it's gonna show us this contact page. So now we are able to kind of click on these different kind of links and open different pages. So the first half of this uh, video is done. Now what I want is, uh, so if we go to our index.html, you can see that this code is gonna be in every HTML file. So basically what I mean is, I'm gonna be wanting this uh, navigation bar in both portfolio and contact. Now one way to do it, I can just copy and paste this in this contact.html and then I can add more stuff. So for example, I can just add uh, uh, contact page info, something like that, gmail.com. All right, and if we go back and press enter, go to contact. Now you can see that this navigation bar is still there. And further, we have got this contact page info at gmail.com. This is actually my email ID. You can contact me if you want. And there's also at gmail.com, which I open more frequently. But please don't spam me. All right. So what I'm going to do is now. Uh, so yeah, this is like, uh, but we are copying and pasting the code. And whenever you're coding something, it's never a good idea uh, to just paste everything over here. The code that we should create should always be reusable. So that's why what we are going to do is uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create an, another HTML file and we are going to paste all of this navigation bar in another HTML file. And then we are just going to reuse that piece of code in all the three index contact and portfolio.html files. So just, just kind of see what I am doing and you guys will understand what I'm talking about if you haven't yet. So I'm going to create a new HTML file. And we're going to call it base.html because we'll be wanting this base file to be present in every uh, other index.html, index.html, contact.html, portfolio.html file. So let's create this base.html file and we're going to copy everything from index.html. We're going to cut and paste it inside base.html. All right. Now index.html won't show every show anything. Don't freak out. It's okay. It's totally fine. So what we are going to do is, is, and let me just remove all of this stuff from contact also. Let's make sure that the portfolio is also empty. So now what we are going to do is, we are going to go to index.html file and we are going to write the tag thing over here and we are going to write extends and then we are going to write the name of our, uh, basically the name of the file that we want. So over here we can just write base, actually we can just write my site and then base.html. 
So basically this what we are saying is hey index.html even though you don't have any code what I want you to do, it, to do is I want you to take all of this code of base.html and kind of paste it after this extends line. That is what we are basically saying with this line. And uh, then we can type in stuff over here. But what other thing that we want is let's say we are going to add some stuff below this navigation bar right like we did in the contact.html. So if we add some stuff over here, so basically let's say we added, uh, let's say we added a paragraph and we said this is the home page. Now when this file is extended, this, this line is going to be shown at the end of this base.html file and it's not even going to show because uh, it's up, like outside the HTML tag so it's not going to show. But what if we want this p paragraph? of index.html that we have created this is the home page to be shown just below this navigation bar for that we use something known as block content so inside our base.html file we're going to write percentage and we'll write block content and then we're going to write end block end block so now whenever we uh, paste something inside the tag so basically it's we just need to copy the same thing from here and we can copy this and paste this over here and then we can copy and cut this paragraph inside this block content and end block so what it does is after extending after cutting and pasting this uh, base.html inside our index.html file is going to go to this uh, block content and end block and it's going to copy this uh, paragraph basically inside this block content and end block now obviously you can change the name of this content you can call it con if you want to uh, is that's that's totally up to you it's, it's not a problem i'm just gonna call it to content because um, the name is kind of obvious for teaching purposes but yeah so let's do the same thing with the portfolio and contact.html and see if it works so in the portfolio we can just write this is the portfolio and in contact contact.html i don't know why i write t-h-e-h -H. All right, we can just write this as the contact page and in index.html, this is fine. Just remove the H and this looks pretty good. So let's go back to our thing, remove this, press enter and let's see if it works. All right, so this navigation bar, as you can see, even though we haven't pasted anything in index.html, it is extending the base.html. So we don't have to even copy the bootstrap sub in our index.html it's automatically getting extended to our index.html file and then this is the home page is basically getting pasted up after this navigation bar by this block content tag and end block content tag over here so this is index.html let's try out portfolio and this is the portfolio let's click on contact and this is the contact page so all of these three pages, the portfolio, the contact and the index.html are actually dynamically being generated uh, using Django. So this is what I love about Django. You don't have to like, you can reuse the code a lot. Otherwise, if you're using like simple HTML and CSS and bootstrap and stuff, you always have to copy and paste the code in every HTML file, which makes the file really, really huge. And it's just like a big headache. So Django framework basically allows you to reuse your code in every file. So now this index.html, even though it has all of this cool stuff inside, the code actually looks pretty small. So this is one of the great things about Django. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In this video, we learned about how to connect these links by giving them a name parameter inside urls.py. And then we learned how to reuse the HTML and the, basically the code of web development in uh, different index.html files, different basically HTML files and how to dynamically generate them. In the next video, I'm probably going to be creating this contact page from scratch and maybe we'll delve into like some kind of uh, database and stuff like that. But we'll see about that in the next video. This is pretty much it for this one. Peace out.